Ninja the Mission Force is a new web series that inserts ninjas into movies that weren't fortunate enough to have ninjas in them in the first place. It's a glorious love letter to Godfrey Ho, IFD Films, and just cut and paste cinema in general. It's about ninjas and robots and dinosaurs and television sets. There's spaceships and sword fights and Orson Welles, it's got everything you've ever wanted and stuff you didn't even know you wanted. In the 1980s, some wily filmmakers in Hong Kong decided to make a buck by taking dozens of movies, splicing in new scenes of white guys in candy-colored ninja suits, and releasing them as new films. The Ninja Squad! Ninja the Protector! Ninja Terminator! Not only did their venture prove successful, the results were pants-on-head insane. Traitor, listen. You have just three days to return the Golden Ninja Warrior to our master. It's not only adding your own footage to it, but somehow trying to work it into this story that's already going on in this pre-existing movie. There would often be a scene where the main character would be on the phone, and he'd be on the phone with a character in another movie. Sometimes they'll be in the same room with each other, and saying these lines that, that sort of have something to do with the plots that are that are going on. And after watching literally stacks of these cut and paste masterpieces, it dawned on us. We need to do that. So Megan and I scoured the film vault looking for the least likely candidates to become part of Ninja the Mission Force. We took black and white movies, we took gladiator movies, we took a dinosaur movie and spliced it into an A-plot, which follows the exploits of Gordon and the evil ninja Bruce as they race to get the six avian ninja warriors and thus get or prevent the other from getting ultimate ninja power. I play Gordon, who's kind of a reject from Miami Vice if Miami Vice was also about ninjas. Gordon works for Interpol, he's married to a television set, and he has a Garfield phone that he stole from Richard Harrison. He spends most of his time fighting off mad scientists, dinosaurs, and cheese ninjas sent to kill him by Bruce. I play Bruce, mild-mannered businessman, slash ninja, slash, uh, magician? Bruce is a threat to world domination. I will have the avian ninja warriors, I will have ultimate power, and I will get the right lunch order today, or so help me, I will destroy each and every one of you. I don't know if uh, the world should necessarily be threatened by him, but he has a healthy appetite, so uh, snack foods beware. Oh. So Bruce and Gordon have to call upon their respective minions in movie B to collect all six avian ninja warriors. I think the ninja empire might be using the cheese smugglers to transport one of the avian ninja warriors. Makes your blood curdle. Not only will fans of the IFD movies uh, get a kick out of it, but also it works even if you haven't seen those. And I'm proud to say that after a century of cinema, we finally have a motion picture in which John Travolta, Gladiator Midgets, and a ninja in a rocket ship are all part of the same story.